Secret 16. Mermaid Sushi. Let's play. Previously on Mermaid Secrets, Alan kidnapped Mia and started his revenge plan. Kim told Eric that Alan had escaped from the prison. Alan asked for ransom and Eric planned to rescue Mia. Eric and Mia escaped from the garage. OMG! A car came across and almost hit Mia! Mia! I'm coming to save you! Eric, you still want to save Mia when you're in trouble? That's so interesting! You really want to be a hero? I'm not gonna make your dream come true! <laughs> now seems the driver was shocked. I should secretly get Mia back to the warehouse now! Be quick! Don't let anyone notice us! Why can you again and again hurt Eric and I? You're such a bad guy! Mia, don't always be mean to me! I just saved your life! Save me? No, no, I know exactly what you're thinking. Now that you know I'm a mermaid, how can you let someone else hurt me? If I get hurt, you won't get money! Oh, you are not as stupid as other fishes. You are such a clever girl. Oh no, the warehouse looks so messy. I plan to sell you to a sushi restaurant. If you get dirty, I might not get my money. I don't want that to be happened. Mia, you must keep beautiful and clean. Then I can sell you at a good price. <laughs> anyway, let me clean this place first is out there. I need to take him back to the warehouse and tie him up. Good. The rope was tied tightly. I'll see how you can get away with it. Hi, Alan. Hi, Mr. Mashido. I was just about to call you. Really? Where can you take the mermaid to my restaurant? I can't wait to see her. Good things require patience. I'll take her with me right away. Good. Be careful on the road. Make sure she is safe. Otherwise, you won't get the money. Don't worry. I'll get everything done. Oh my god! What happened just now? Did I hit something? Oh, I remember now. I was driving and suddenly something appeared on the roadside. It is a kind of strange and mysterious creature. I've never seen it before. It seems like a human with a big fish tail. I can't believe my eyes. So what is it? I need to figure it out. But where is the fish now? I remember it was here just now. Am I dreaming? That's so weird. Oh, my camcorder should have recorded what just happened. I am such a genius. Let's see what happened. Who is the man in the hat? What is he doing here? Oh my god, he took the strange creature away! Oh, I just heard someone call the strange creature Mia. I have a student also named Mia. Are they the same person? Yes, she is my student Mia, but with a fish tail. I had never thought I'd be a teacher for a mermaid, but where did they take Mia? What did they do? I need to take good care of my SIM card. What should I do next? I need to think about it. Neither Eric nor Mia came to class, nor did they ask for personal leave. So what happened to them? Should I call the police? I think I should report it to the principal first. But I'm not 100% sure that Mia is the mermaid. People would think I'm crazy if I don't have enough evidence. I need to find more clues to prove it. So how about I ask Kim? I'm sure she knows about it. Kim, please come to my office. I have some questions for you. Sure, Mrs. Blake. I'll be there in five minutes. Kim, neither Eric nor Mia came to class. Do you know what's happened to them? No, I have no idea about it. Maybe they got sick? So how much do you know about Mia? Do you think there's something strange about her? I know you don't have a good relationship with her. Does she also know me a secret? I'd better pretend I don't know in order to avoid unnecessary trouble. Oh, no, no, it's just a rumor. We don't have any conflicts. She and I are just ordinary classmates. 
Anything else? If not, I'll leave. No, nothing else. Go and get busy with your own stuff. Alan, you are such a bastard. You promised that you wouldn't hurt Eric. Now what the hell are you doing? Where did you take Eric? You really care about Eric, but he doesn't love you. It's none of your business. Tell me where Eric is. Otherwise, I'll call the police and have them arrest you. If I get caught, you won't get any benefit. I'm back here to help you deal with Mia. She will be sold to a sushi restaurant, and it won't be long for her to turn into a delicious sushi. Send Eric's address to me. I'm not interested in anything about Mia. Hi, Al. Good to see you. Hi, Mr. Mishido. I brought what you wanted. The mermaid is in my car. Then put her in my warehouse immediately. I haven't decided whether to sell the mermaid to you. Though your restaurant looks fantastic, but I don't know whether the food is also good here. Let me give you some of our top sushi, then you can decide. Sure. <coughs> the sushi is really delicious. I think you'll make good use of the top ingredients. Of course, I don't want to waste such good ingredients. <coughs> I've decided to sell you the mermaid. I'll take her to the warehouse. Perfect. This is your just reward. You are a man of your word. I like to do business with you. Enjoy the mermaid sushi. Bye. Oh, Eric, I finally found you. How could Alan torture you like that? I'll never forgive him. Let me help Eric untie the rope first. Are you feeling better, Eric? Kim, how come you know I was kidnapped by Alan? I called Alan and he told me that you were here. You already knew his plan? No, no, please, don't get me wrong. I didn't know he would hurt you. He came to me as soon as he got out of prison. What does he want from you? He said he wanted revenge, but I told him not to hurt you. So you told Alan that Mia is a mermaid, right? <sighs> yes. How can you do this? You promised me that you won't tell Mia's secret to anyone. If her secret's to be exposed, she will be in danger. Mia took you away from me. I hate her. Now where is Mia? Tell me about it. Alan plans to sell her to a sushi restaurant. I think she might be there. She must be in danger. I need to hurry up and save her. Look, what a beautiful fish. Oh no, I should call you mermaid. I always thought mermaids were just legends. But now I've seen it. It's so amazing. Even though I've been making sushi all my life, it's still the first time for a mermaid sushi. Oh no! You can't do this. I might be part fish and part human, but that still makes me a person. You are not just buying a fish, you are buying a life. Mermaids are no different from human beings. We also have feelings. We also have our family. Can you just let me go? Are you kidding me? I spent a lot of money to buy you. You're just a fish. I'm gonna make you a mermaid sushi. Ah! Next on Mermaid Secrets. Eric comes to the sushi restaurant and tries to save Mia. Mrs. Blake invites Mia to attend the pool party. What is her real purpose? Such a good day! What will happen in the summer pool party? Mrs. Blake is putting out a banana peel. Why does she do this? More mermaid secrets will be revealed. Stay tuned for our next.